Hello everyone, welcome to the fifth video of my Lewis tutorial series. Today we are going to be continuing if statements and learning a little bit more about them and learning about the and slash or operators. So to begin, I just want to start off real quick by showing um, a quick way to write if something is equal to true or if something exists, just so we can get a better understanding of what I'm doing as I'm typing. So if I go ahead and write if costume equals true, then and print uh, it's equal to true, I go ahead and save it. You can see it's equal to true. So this is typically how you would write an if statement and that's totally okay. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this down and I'm going to write if costume then and print costume is equal to true. We'll do two estimation points. So you can see, pardon me, let me clear this. Costume is equal to true, but we didn't do an, an actual comparison between the variable and the value of true. The reason is because if you think about what this actually translates to, just imagine if someone wrote if true and costume has the val val excuse me, the value of true. And since it has the value of true, that's exactly what it's translating to. So you don't actually have to write in a comparison of uh, two values with the equal sign. So just keep that in mind as I write out these if statements and get into our actual lesson. So to begin, it says our exclusive Halloween party requires that you have a costume and are at least 18 years old and have brought some form of food. So they need to have a costume, be at least 18, and have some form of food. So we're gonna write that out. If age is greater than or equal to 18 and costume and brought food, then end. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna say print. You can enter our party. Else, we're gonna say print. Uh, you can't enter our party. Save that. See, you can't enter our party. Why is that? It's because uh, if age is greater than or equal to 18, that is true. And costume, that has a value true, so and true. And brought food, this is false. And since although these parts right here are true, since this part is false, it's gonna say, hey, this is not gonna execute and we're gonna move on to our else statement. So what we can do is we can put in an or statement and account for the fact is if, however, if you have a ticket, you can enter without bringing food as long as you're 18 years older and um, have a costume. So, so what we're gonna say is if age is greater than or equal to 18 and costume and has ticket, then, so we're gonna go ahead and save this, go on gaming says, you can enter our party. And the reason is, first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna check this, all right? And it's gonna check to see if the age is right and they have a costume and we know that is true, however, the brought food is false. So then it's like, all right, that sucks, this isn't gonna happen, then we're gonna move on to our or statement. And then it's gonna check the same thing if age is greater than or equal to 18 and costume, and if they have, have a ticket. So since they has ticket, it's gonna just translate this to true, and it's gonna say, okay, this, this section works out, we're going to execute this. Just to revise this a little bit as well, since we are doing some comparisons in both the if statements, or sorry, uh, both um, sides of the or, what we can do is we can say if age, is greater than or equal to 18 and costume then and so this is the first condition that we need to check for both of these so instead of checking it on both sides we're only going to check it once then we're just going to say else print you can't enter our party okay so first thing that's going to happen if this age is less than 18 it's not going to happen or if they don't have a costume no matter what if they brought food or has a ticket they are not going to get in but in here, this is where we're going to put our additional check for that or. So we're going to say if brought food or has ticket, then print you can enter else print. Oh, goodness. Print you can't enter. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just comment this out for now and now save it. You see, you can enter. So we know for a fact that this portion of the if statement worked out because if age is greater than equal to, which is true, and costume, which is true, then it's gonna check to see if we brought food or have or has ticket. So we're gonna actually set this to false and see what happens. So now that we set this to false, you see, you can't enter. Well, we know that now this is working, but we wanna make sure that this is working. So how we do that is we're gonna set both has ticket, um, actually no, we'll set both has ticket to true and brought food set to true. But we know that these two are mandatory requirements. So we're actually gonna set the age to 17. Now you can see you can't enter our party. That sucks, all right? What if they're 18, but they don't have a costume? 
set that to false. Now you can see you can't enter our party. So we know for sure that this is not working. I'm going to set this back to true. So now all conditions right here are true. It should say you can enter, which it did. So that is a quick introduction to ands. Basically, it just appends an additional condition that needs to be met. And then or is a fallback for that same condition that is being checked. Um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I think for now, I'm going to start getting into more complex stuff. I think the next thing I want to target is perhaps tables or loops. So if you guys are interested, uh, make sure to subscribe because that will more than likely be the next video I release. So as always, if you have any questions, please comment down below and uh, like and subscribe because it means a lot. Thanks, guys. Take care.